In this greatest period of industry disruption in our history, it is also the greatest period of opportunity. And that's the essence of VMworld. We have 23,000 of you with us. And on behalf of the 20,000 VMware employees, we are facing forward with you today, this week, and every week with you to the future. All business is digital business. There is no longer a meaningful distinction and every industry and every core business process is becoming driven by digital, being driven by the cloud. Partners and customers want to engage with a mobile experience. And there is no longer a distinction from digital to traditional. And the real question to ask is, what is your strategy in an all digital world? You know, one of the questions that we have to ask is, is this for real? So I've had my crack market ana analytics and research team, you know, look at all of the data from all the different industry analysts, combining that with our data. And remember with the huge penetration of the virtualization platform that we have, we have lots of real data ourselves that nobody else has. And try to come up with a detailed assessment of clouds. How big are they today? How big were they in the past? and predict how big they will be in the future. So 2006, 98% of workloads, right, the 29 million workloads at the time, workloads being an operating system instance, were running in traditional IT. Let's go five years forward to today. And here we are today at about 160 million workloads, public and private cloud sort of running uh, neck and neck. You know, businesses excited about the agility and the flexibility and the benefits that cloud provide but still 75% traditional IT. I asked my crack research team, when are we 50% in the cloud? And the answer is 2021 is when we hit that 50% mark. In 2021, 50-50. And you see that public cloud is now 30%, private cloud 20%. Is the public cloud racing ahead? Let's click a little bit more into that. And what you see is, that is about 50-50 of that, of that uh, public cloud between AS and SaaS. About 20% private, 16% AS, and about 14% uh, SaaS. But you still see, even in 2021, we have a long way to go. Now, with The Economist, we also looked and said, what does that typical enterprise look like? And look through the macro view of the shift, and we interviewed both business professionals as well as IT professionals and ask, what does your IT environment look like? And the picture was pretty scary, actually, when we saw this on average. And what we saw is, is that eight average cloud services, that there's 200 different internally developed applications, 200 external third-party uh, apps, 11 different devices, Windows, a Windows Android, iOS uh, devices. And you know, this picture is one of complexity, one of change. And traditional systems of IT are doomed to fail. Now, in that same survey, we asked, who is in charge of security? And the answer was, two-thirds of the time, you are IT. Make you feel good? 23%, it's you and the business owner. So in other words, nine out of 10 say, it's your responsibility. So you're feeling good? So in an environment where you no longer own the device, you no longer wrote the application, you no longer control the data centers, and you no longer control the networks that those applications are running on, you're still in charge. How do you feel? Woohoo! that's my job, I love it, right? I'm responsible for everything and I control nothing. Sound familiar? What this points to is an environment that sets up the fundamental dichotomy. Freedom versus control. How many of you are parents? Okay, what do your kids want? Freedom, right? You know, I want to stay up, I want to eat what I want, right? You know, I want to see my friends and so on. You know, your kids want freedom. What do you want as a parent? Control, right? You know, I want you to do your homework, I want you to be in bed by nine o'clock, all of those kind of things. Freedom versus control. As a parent, you need some amount of control. And then in a period of great and massive change, like the teenage years, what happens? This tension is heightened. So here we are in this period of dramatic change, and the tension is heightened. 
You and your users want the freedom to choose any cloud service, but you must maintain some level of security, compliance, and control. And this is our focus at VMware. VMware is solving this dilemma, is offering freedom and control. And in this world where clouds and devices and the complexity is accelerating, and with that, today, it's my pleasure to introduce the cross-cloud architecture. The cross-cloud architecture enabling you to run, manage, connect, and secure your apps across any cloud and any device using a common operating environment. You know, we've seen this cross-cloud in action, this ability to manage, to secure, to govern, to move, to run private and public clouds, including Amazon, AWS, IBM, vCloud Air, vCloud Air Network, and your on-premise environment. And you know, this gives you a picture of how this whole cross-cloud architecture comes together. The combination of VMware Cloud Foundation, a fully integrated SDDC, available both on-premise and as a service, making private cloud easy, making it available anywhere. And combine that with the cross-cloud services, new SaaS-based offerings that deliver security and compliance and capabilities across any public cloud as well. Extending the hybrid cloud architecture in a profound and significant way that only you can do truly enabling an any cloud architecture. We've covered a lot this morning, right? In the last 90 minutes, we've talked about cross-cloud architecture, VMware Cloud Foundation, the new set of cross-cloud services. Our goal is empower you by giving you freedom and control to navigate in this period of profound and exciting change in our industry. Unquestioned challenges, extraordinary opportunities. Only you have the passion, the expertise, and the will to make cross-cloud happen. Engage, learn, and enjoy VMworld 2016. Thank you very much.